What's going on, Kings fans? I'm Katerina Contreras, one of your game night hosts, and we are back for another edition of the Winning Drive presented by Chevron. We have, as you see, Hassan Whiteside for these hard-hitting questions. Hassan, how are you today? Hey, how y'all doing? Thanks for having me. Well, we're excited. Are you ready? I got some. I got some solid questions for you. Okay, let's do it. Since you arrived in Sacramento back in 2010, you've had an incredible, unique career path that really took you all the way, you know, around the world. What is your most memorable experience playing somewhere outside of the NBA? Uh, most memorable experience is um, taking a 13-hour train ride to a, to in China to a gym to play a team. And um, they had no AC, and they had like big tubs of ice, like big ice cubes with fans <laughs> blowing on it. It was like the hottest gym I've ever been in in my life. How has Sacramento changed since you were drafted here? Uh, it, it changed a lot. You know, downtown looks incredible. Um, it's building up. You, I remember when Old Sac was the biggest thing that um, that people did. You know, and um, it's incredible all the things that they built downtown. So I heard that everyone, maybe just. Maybe people on the team, maybe Sacramento in general, refers to you as like the funniest guy to be around. So I have to ask, and you can't say yourself, okay? Who would you okay. say is the funniest guy on the team? It's out of the, it's out of, I like, I like, I like Buddy. I like Ty. Buddy just don't stop, just don't stop. He just don't stop. He's gonna speak his mind, he's just gonna stop it. Uh, Ty, he always got some, some type of joke to say, you know, and uh, he's, he's just fun to joke around with. So it goes, you, buddy, Ty. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like that. Okay, perfect. Last season, you led the NBA in blocks. Do you have a favorite block? Probably against the Bulls last year, just because it became, um, I had like a block at the end of the game that was kind of saved the game, and it was like my 10th block last year. You know, uh, it was against the Bulls last year. What has and been your favorite car that you've owned? I'm a really big Jeep person. You know, I love Jeep, you know. Um, Jeep Wranglers, you know, um, just just because you can customize them so much. Um, I got a Jeep with six wheels on. I call it Big Shirley. Big so Shirley. It's like, yeah, yeah. I, I just customize them so much. It's um, it's so much you can do with them. All right. So Chevron is the MVP of MPG. Who is mm -hmm. the MVP in your life? I say my family, you know, just because uh, the way they raised me. I can't really put one specific person, you know. I just think overall as a group, it was um, it was just great to have them there. Absolutely, yeah. You can't pick you can't pick someone because then next yeah. Thanksgiving or next Christmas they're gonna play this exact yeah. video and be like, "What is this, Hassan?" <laughs> yeah, I can't choose one person. Okay, next up, what is your favorite basketball movie of all time? Uh, Space Jam. Space Jam, just because Bugs, Bugs, Bunny, Michael Jordan, what more do you want? You know, you got, you got Bugs and Michael Jordan in the same movie, sign me up. Okay, this is probably going to be offensive to people in California, but depending on how you answer this, do you hate In-N-Out as much as De'Aaron does? <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate In-N-Out, I just don't think it's better than Shake Shack, Five Guys, like nothing holier than that, all them guys. The Five Guys and Shake Shack is like, exactly. I think I got a little too much hype. We are at the final mile challenge. What is one thing you would put on your bucket list? One thing on my bucket list, go um scuba diving. Are you a morning person or are you a night person? Um, earlier in my life, I was like a night person, but I'm becoming a morning person. The older I get, I'm starting to like really enjoy waking up in the morning. What is your favorite song? The Foreigner. I want to know what love is. <laughs> I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. That song been stuck in my head for like three weeks straight. And I just get it. I just be singing around my teammates and like, and then my friends, and they be like, yo, you got that song stuck in my head again. Okay, well, on that note, thank you so much, Hassan, for virtually hanging out with me today. And Kings fans, we will see you next time on The Winning Drive, presented by Chevron. We'll see you guys later.
Thanks for having me.